I'm Shiva Sharni from Iran. I'm a third year PhD candidate uh, at the University of Malaga in uh, synchrotron X-ray imaging applied to cementitious material uh, to decrease CO2 footprint for saving our planet. I have energy engineering background and I graduated master degree uh, in radiation application uh, in Tehran Polytechnic. Uh, in my case, there's a quiet story that what attracted me in this uh, research field. At the beginning of my master, when I was uh, working with Gamma Source um, with, uh, for my master thesis, once upon a time at midnight when I was overthinking about science, this idea crossed my mind that uh, should be a way to study this with um, X -ray, uh, synchrotron X-ray. So I got out of my bed, turned on my laptop, and started to search. I collected several publications and thesis. I fully remember it was a thesis at Canadian Light Source and Electra, which uh, did similar research, um, but has been never done for uh, Iranian indigenous core sample, so I would be the first for Iran. I started the whole night in, uh, till morning, and early in the morning ran into my supervisor uh, office, but I didn't receive um, the reaction that I was expected. He laughed at me, and he told me, um, people all around the world would laugh at you and your idea is useless. So do not mention my name in your ridiculous proposal because I worked a lot for the credits that I have in science now. I collected my stuff and that was one of the first um, harmful direct note that I um, heard. So I traveled all around Iran to collect uh, oil and gas um, core plug samples for a proposal that I have to write uh, without any uh, supervisor. I was dreaming about working at a synchrotron. We have one under construction in Iran. Um, so I applied for a work position there, but they told me that uh, you're so young and you do not have enough experience to be in this group in the interview. So another no. Later I saw a collaboration between Iran and Alba Synchrotron, um, but I didn't even know um, the beamline name that I have to write because even the imaging beamline of Alba is under construction. I wrote a proposal without the name of any supervisor and wrote my friend as co-proposer in order not to be alone. As can be imagined for this announcement, there were um, so many supervisors who wrote proposal uh, for their student to grab the opportunity to have the beam time. Um, after submitting my proposal, I received a phone call that all the um, local Iranian uh, group were there and they told me we received uh, several good proposals and your, it's not clear what you want to do. Uh, maybe it is better for you not to take the time of the scientific director of the ALBA and the chair of the ISRF, Miguel Angel Garcia Aranda, my current PhD supervisor who is coming to share the um, plan opinion about the good proposals. I insisted that I want to meet him and uh, I want to hear this answer from him and because I already uh, faced an ignorance from supervisor. So I wanted to be sure. Surprisingly, I met Miguel like other uh, proposers and he said, uh, oh, you're the youngest one. He, didn't uh, he even didn't let me to describe about the proposal. He said, um, I know what you want to do. Your proposal is clear and it's perfect but only we do not have this technique in Spain. So do not limit yourself and um, go for other synchrotrons such as the SRF. At that moment, I could feel that I, can, I have two wings to fly. In the conference that I met him, he explained about Sesame. So I catch the word and applied as a student for Open Sesame Flowship. And my proposal has been accepted among all the Middle East proposal. So I became a, a young scientific visitor at ID19 tomography beamline at the ISRF. This was under the supervision of Alexander Rack and Claudio Ferrero. At that time, I started uh, my Twitter account uh, to share my days at the synchrotron. And Claudio believed that I share science in a unique uh, way. So he asked me, would you promise not to give up being so passionate about science and share it for everyone? Claudio really changed my scientific life vision for the future. But unfortunately, after months, uh, Claudio passed away and the plan has been canceled, which was a really difficult moment for a person who is at the beginning of her scientific path. 
Nowadays, I have my Instagram and Twitter account for sharing science as I promised. After doing the experiment at the ESRF, I invited for a talk in Iran for Iranian Light Source Facility, exactly the place that told me you're so young for working here. And all the professors, including my previous master supervisor, were hearing my speech, exactly the topic that he said the world would laugh at. Uh, later, I had been invited for a talk at BEAT, uh, Tomography Beamline of Sesame in Cyprus. And a year after, Miguel sent me an email and he said, um, my group is going to have a PhD position in imaging. Would you like to join my group? Definitely, I would like to join my uh, Saving Angel group. He was the only one who believed in me and who taught me, do not limit yourself. So, if somewhere in a world, no one believed in you, they would be Saving Angel somewhere else in a world who will help you to achieve your target and dream. At my first day of experiment, as it was a few years I was dreaming about being accepted for an experiment, I could close my eyes and imagine the whole ring of the ESRF uh, with faster heart beating. My goals and dreams for becoming a scientist, like my Instagram ID, Scientist Shiva. Advice I would give to my younger self, um, I not regret about any choice that I did in this path, but as someone who missed the supervisor, I wish I could hurt him more um, to take advantage of his unique experience in this field. But also, I'm glad that hearing no from others didn't stop me. To younger people, I can say, um, not all the people with higher scientific position um, are not the wisest one uh, when it comes to giving an advice. And please, choose science for your future job only if you believe in open source science because it's still uh, we're suffering uh, from country and nationality boundary for doing science. So please help to have science equally and be kind for sharing it. Beside the Open Sesame flow ship at ID19 uh, tomography beamline at the ESRF uh, in 2018, I uh, did microtomography at Tomcat beamline at Sweet Slicers in 2019 and also uh, help uh, colleagues at NCD Suite Beamline at Alba Synchrotron. I did remotely a tachography experiment at I-13 uh, Diamond Lysers, and I did tachography current experiment at CSACS in two, uh, 2021. And currently, I'm Jim Elliott uh, Award winner in uh, tomography domain and doing near-field tachography at ID-16A, um, to study meso structure of uh, echo cement. The best thing about doing experiment uh, at light sources are having a um, different range of expertise working together and also helping each other. For the night shift, when we have experiment, uh, I'm excited and nervous, so this anxiousness does not let me to sleep. And my highest record was Alba uh, experiment that I didn't sleep for 45 hours and also I was enjoying it. <laughs> um, to describe light source community, I have a phrase that I always say, um, synchrotron is the coolest ring in a world. Um, when I'm not working, as I used to play piano since I was a child, because I do not have my instruments here, I played kalimba. And also, I'm a member of uh, Free Style Slalom Inline Skating uh, of Madrid, um, the sport which controlling the equilibrium is all physics.